Hello YouTubers, this video here is about um, the rose tip anemone. Um, basically I'm going to show you a way, the safest way to actually feed your rose tip anemone. Because these species are really hard to look after. I've had so many anemones, it's my first time I had a rose tip anemone. But I had at least 20 anemones and most of them died. And at the moment I've got a pink um, pink bubble tip anemone and I've got a rose tip anemone and I made this video to show you the safest way to actually feed your anemone because basically when you get frozen food like this it has got a lot of dirty water it looks clean obviously it's my tank water I only use your tank water to make the um, tablet to dissolve um, after it's dissolved this is what I actually do I got a brine shrimp net so basically I put the brine shrimp net over a clean um, cup and I have a baiter as well obviously to wash out the the frozen tablets so basically I leave it like this and I slowly pour so it catches the brine shrimp in the net there you go and then I just to mash it up a bit, I just spray a bit more tank water on the brine shrimp. Okay, so now I haven't got none of that murky or none of that murk, murky water going into my tank. I've just got clean brine shrimp there, guys. So now with the, the other cup, the empty cup, I put a bit of tank, not that much, but a bit of tank water in there. Use the beater again. Just fill that up to like so. Now just flip the net like so. Just get, you know, just take all the brine shrimp, squirt all the brine shrimp off. You might, need you might think it's a long procedure, but guys, trust me, if you don't do this, some, some anemones don't like it. You have phosphates in that dirty water, and when you're actually introducing the food to the anemone, the mouth opens up. And when the mouth opens up, that's a sign of sickness. And they get really stressed. So now I'm going to show you how I actually feed mine. Some people like doing it with a syringe. I like doing it with this because and make sure your hands are clean as well. That's another thing, guys. And you do it really slowly, guys. Don't force a jet in there. There you go. And you're going to see the anemone close up like it is now. That's my sea and a bit of brine in there guys. You see how fast he's actually closed up? Mega fast. But yeah guys, that's the same thing with the other coals as well, like the hammer. You know, bubble tips. Any LPSs, I, I would do the same feeding. I, that's how I feed my coals. And since I've done this, I have no problems. But when I used to feed it straight from a tablet, um, they wasn't surviving. But they would eat. Obviously, they would eat. And then you see signs of you know the growth is decreasing. They get smaller, and then sometimes they go out like gooey, and it smells like shit. I mean it. If you if if you ever killed an anemone. 